Uh, war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. Why are they perpetrated? What motivates their perpetration? My name is Mark Gerson, and I'm an assistant professor in the criminology department teaching law, human rights, and international justice. Mass atrocities don't happen just because some people happen to be evil. Violence isn't stupid, and neither are the perpetrators of international crimes. Mass atrocities often, in fact, perhaps even always, happen in conjunction with transnational organized crimes. These are crimes committed by organized criminal networks across borders. Think of money laundering, drug, ivory, and human trafficking, or cybercrime. What I wanted to do in this article was look at the relationship between transnational organized crimes and international crimes. And I explore that relationship through four different contexts. Kosovo, Sierra Leone, the Islamic State, and the Central African Republic, and Uganda. What I show is that the nexus between transnational organized crimes and international crimes exists irrespective of whether perpetrators are a government, a paramilitary, rebel group, or terrorist organization. The very same organizations and actors perpetrating international crimes are also perpetrating at the very same time transnational organized crimes. And this happens everywhere. It does not respect borders. It happens in Europe, in Africa, and in Asia. Now, when the famous gangster Al Capone was finally brought to justice, it wasn't for the dozens of murders he was involved in. It was for tax evasion. And I think that if we can better understand the economic motivations behind international crimes and the people who perpetrate them, we might improve our chances of not only holding those people to account, but also stopping them before they have a chance to perpetrate those atrocities. Thank you very much.